Hello everyone, my name is Onet, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to migrate uh, record links and nodes from your on-premise database to your cloud instance. Um, what are record links? First and foremost, uh, record links and nodes are very critical. Uh, they can contain customer insights, annotations or references, and they are important for your day-to-day decision-making. Previously, record links and nodes were not migrated from on-prem database to cloud, uh, so partners would have to spend a lot of time and effort to bring them over. But now, with new capabilities, record links and nodes migration is part of the uh, cloud migration process, so the teams can uh, retain the narrative of their business process even if they transition to the cloud. Let's see how that looks. So I have set up cloud migration and ran data replication. I can check the cloud migration management page and see the status. You can see the replication was completed successfully. Replications will bring the record links and notes to a buffer table so that we don't override your existing record links and notes. What you'll need to do is hit this action, migrate record links and notes in order to bring them from the buffer table to, your, to the actual table. You'll notice this uh, new field called warnings and I just have one. It, it will tell you that record link table has not been migrated since the last replication, so we warn you about it that you don't forget. Let's look at customers, for example. I've got one customer here that uh, I had record links and nodes in my on-prem database, but it's not here yet. So what I'll just do is go ahead and run this action, migrate record links and nodes. You can see the warning went away, and if I check the customer now, you see that the links and the nodes are here. So that's it, that's how easy it is. Just uh, some couple of nodes that I would like to run by before uh, I say goodbye. Make sure you run the record links and nodes migration after the replication so that records are moved to the uh, buffer table beforehand. Also, make sure you do this uh, before doing the uh, user mapping because when you do the user mapping, uh, we'll change the records uh, on the users on the record links and notes uh, to the ones that you map to. And just so you know, we do not overwrite your existing record links and notes, so it's very safe to use. You can run it, run the action multiple times. That's it. If you want to learn more, check out uh, these resources. Um, thank you for listening.